So, next up in the order, I guess we should take a look at audio call. Let me actually, before we click on the button, let's, because I know it's a menu here as well. Now, because I already have some of those items, can I already do stuff? Or do you need to still farm some? And also, ooh, take a look at this. This looks pretty cool. Oh, it's a different music as well. It has its own, like, you know ambient music here so let's see if i for instance oh so wait where's extra classes oh there's like one and two for extra classes so extra class is not available immediately well, but let's, let's click on saber and see what happens here okay what is like dude it's like a skill tree or something sure let's let's just explore a little bit oh my there's so many this is just one class this is one class and you have to start from like two different things I suppose. I assume you can get everything eventually. So let's see. What are these two starting? But they have crit icons. So it's buster crit damage and art crit damage, I think. Yeah, okay. Now, this is what I expected. For them to be mostly like better numbers in terms of like damage and whatnot. So with this one, you would get 2% more buster crit damage for the saber class, I'm pretty sure. I think that's how it works. And you, you need the new sand that you got some of those from missions, but I, I think the main way to get the sand is from the new missions inside the ordeal uh, call itself, right? On the uh, bleached earth. Now, you apparently you also need materials and QP, like this one, you need proofs and uh, 500k QP. I assume these are just one and done and then you move on. There's no ranks to them, probably. I don't see anything indicating ranks of them. For instance, this is 5% uh, star generation. That's actually not bad. There's an extra attack one, 10% extra attack effectiveness. It's not just damage, by the way. So this is like you're a pen, basically, for characters. It's not only the damage for the extra, it's like effectiveness. So it increases your gains as well, basically. Oh, you can get 28% buster crit damage in total. And that's permanent for the full class. Whoa. And yeah, it, it's, it starts to get costly for sure. Like everything goes up in terms of the requirements, the currency and the materials and whatnot. So what are these stars then? These are like extra missions, but you can't claim them immediately, even if, like, I have this one done. Level, Saber, Servants, or Bond levels. Bond levels of Saber, Servants over 130 times. So I have this already done, right? Because my account is already, again, pretty decent. But I can't claim this yet until I reach this from the tree itself, it seems. Yeah, I think that's how it's gonna work. So what, what is this? This has, like, command spells on it. Oh, it actually does do stuff for command spells. When using a command spell... Attack up 10% for one turn and defense up 10% for one turn? Whoa, these are command spell buffs. You literally get attack and defense. I assume, again, this is only for Saber Servants, because this, this is the Saber tree, right? Anything else that kind of sticks out? Is this also... Tem yeah, this is attack and defense as well for command spells. So how much? How many of those do you have? Maybe four? There's like MP damage, 5%. Okay, interesting. I think besides that, you're just going to see like... You don't see, like, card-type effectiveness, right? I had a feeling that that was gonna be like that, right? Like, it seems to be, like, crit damage, MP damage, stuff that... Well, the, the only thing that uh, here that matters for gains, as far as I can tell, is extra attack and then star generation. I guess they're afraid some servants would be kind of broken. Wait, there is? Wait, is there? Oh! Y never mind, there's actually some card-type ups, not just, like, card crit damage. Oh, but wait... Ah, never mind. It is what I thought. It's not quick performance up like your buffs. This is quick damage up. It says, it specifically says Metsuryoku. Yeah, this is like the Spish Star event, right? Like, it, it, you didn't have card effectiveness up, you had card damage up. And no, this is not flat damage. This literally amplifies your quick damage. So this is just 2% more quick damage for sabers, right? It's not flat damage. It still scales. It just doesn't increase your gains as well. So this is a, this is a good buff regardless, you know? But again, I'm, I assume nothing to do with MP gain. Like, this is just an arts... Yeah, again, it's arts damage, not arts effectiveness. Bond levels as well. Are these all bond levels? Oh, this is a, in the left side, we have different. These are level skills of Saber Servants. Okay. And it says dupes don't count, I'm pretty sure. Okay. These are just levels. Yeah, these are levels. So there's bond levels, levels of the servants, skill levels. And is there another one here? Oh, ascensions. Okay, so those are the four things, right? You ascend, skill level, level them up, and bond level them up. I think those are the four corners, kind of, with those unlock uh, missions. Remember when they said they want you to keep maxing servants? 
Well, obviously LB7 was one reason for that, because, you know, it, towards the end there were some hard fights, but I, I believe this was another reason for that, right? Oh, and then there's a button here, oh. So right now it says there's nothing, basically, because I haven't done anything, but you know what? Let's try it out a little bit. Let's get, uh, let's get Buster crit damage. Let's start with that and see what happens. Is there animation? Probably not. Oh, kind of lights up, and then, then we can proceed. Okay, so that's how that works, and then if I click here now, yeah, you can see. Now, again, it's for all Saber class servants to percent Buster crit damage, and I assume this will just list everything once you, uh, you know, get more stuff, obviously. <laughs> I think you get these items, right? Oh, no, 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 no. You do need these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. You don't get these items. You have to do the mission, and then you need this item when you reach it to unlock it. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, okay. Now, again, I assume these are gotten from, like, challenge quests and whatnot over the, uh, you know, Oreo Call Bleached Earth thingy. And then these are probably the hardest to get. These blue ones. Before we move into the actual farming quests, these are all the buffs you can get for one class when you unlock everything from the uh, class score trees. Although, keep in mind, it's not actually performance of the card types up, it's only damage as far as I know. I guess next we could uh, take a look at the actual uh, map, you know? Oh, <laughs> So yeah, you have the ordeal call button here above LB7 now, and um, alright, let's click on it and see what happens. Ooh, so yeah, um, I, 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 it seems I read the thing on stream, correct? Because they did uh, talk about this a little bit during the stream last time, and uh, I uh, assumed it's read, it's gonna be quests on the actual bleached earth. So this is basically, you know, the globe, you know, when LB started, when the, uh, bl uh, you know, earth got bleached, basically, and then we had lost belts on top of these, right? So this is all that remains, it's just, you know, white. And now, with Ordeal Call, we can kind of explore this now, huh? Yeah, dude, and you can spin the planet, it responds to your touch, dude. Also, <laughs> I'm E rank, dude, look at it, it's on the top left, I think it says E rank, oh man. I assume this is also where we're gonna access those new story chapters as well. These are, are probably like, yeah, like these are free quests, and then maybe these other ones are like challenge, one-time challenge quests. It says, yeah, high difficulty on the second one, so they're like challenge quests, okay. So to do the free quests, you need AP still, but you also need these items that are now next to the AP gauge. So how do you get more of these? I can't click on it. Oh, it's a daily resource. You get three per day. Oh, no, you, you're right. I remember now. It, in the stream, it said like it was like a, a daily thing, you know? So you, you probably just get three on every login, right? Uh, new login per day, right? Yeah. So let's see. What uh, what do you get? Uh, you get 10 of the dust, okay, from clearing it. And I think that's it. Oh, so wait. It, it, yeah, it caps out at nine. So you could like log in three days and not use any and still not waste it, I guess. So interesting. Shall we try one? I think we should. <laughs> Let's do the- this is- this is just one class. Dude, I'm scared though. <laughs> I'm scared, it's a 90 plus plus. Does it have like 5 million HP or something? Ooh. Okay, <laughs> dude, let's see what happens. I'm, I'm gonna keep my TL. This was the party I was running for the lottery. In fact, now I should change to CE as well, because this is no longer the lottery. Surely this is gonna be easy. I mean, I, I mean, I, I expect these to be easy at least. Maybe the challenge quest, the one-time quest, they might be hard. But I expect this to be easy, but let's see what happens. I wanna see this. Fatal battle? Wait, it's Caster Liz! We have Halloween 2 music in the map too? What? 1.1? 1. 1. That, that's not bad. Okay, again, I, I expected these kind of to be a little easy. Because again, these are the ones you're going to be farming all the time, right? Three at most per day. I think she's dead. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Woo! So that's the first one done. Now, I wonder... I assume you can't do the same one three times a day, right? Maybe you can, though. Do the 100k EXP! No wonder you can only do three. Holy moly! That's a lot of EXP, dude! Also, how much bond was that? I- I- wait, I missed the bond, too. Dude, le okay, let's do another one and let me put up bond C's as well. You still get dust. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, so you can still do- you can do the same three every single day, apparently. Even if you do the first clear here. And you still get the dust. Okay, sure. So let's try another one, and let's uh, let's uh, let's get that bond up as well. All right, let's see. Let's do this one fast as well. Oh, I got you baited. <laughs> it's not just one enemy, but you know what? Let's clear it anyway. Okay, that's fine. So some of these are a bit more traditional wave-based content. Oh my God! They actually hit quite hard, huh? That was neutral. There you go. Nom nom. 
All right, so let's see that bond now. <laughs> oh my, come on, dude. How much is this gonna be? Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, that's like what? So wait, let's do some quick maths. This is, you could probably even get a higher bonus than this, obviously, but this is a really good bonus already. Was oh, it 3.6k? I can't do math. You're right, actually, I can't do math, you're right. So you can get 10.8k bond a day with just three of these completions, with a similar bonus setup. Now, again, you could probably get even better than this, but this is already very good. Then, let's times that by 365. So if you do this for a year, if you're very diligent and do this every single time a year, you can get 3.9 million bond in a year just from this only this and yeah in this case uh, the flat one was probably a bad choice anyway but it's not I, I this account doesn't have all the bond bonuses but you get you get the idea right yeah you get the idea you don't have to even bring a bond bonus you can easily bring master exp and or mystic code as well because these are also huge numbers for both of those so that's how that works <laughs> wait what's that icon here oh oh i didn't just know this must yeah this is the, gonna be the first story chapter i just didn't notice it because it was kind of transparent aha uh -huh. so it's gonna be what in the in between the middle east and africa okay that's a teaser right there the name of ordeal call number one is gonna be paper moon we're about to walk like an egyptian <laughs> yeah the, and also on the left where you have the icon it says egypt area so I guess, yeah, it will be in Egypt. Yes. Interesting. So yeah, I, I assume that will be next week, but there you go. I think that was a good first look into the uh, whole ordeal call, like soft launch with the uh, class score and everything. I kind of have a good grasp on it now. So uh, there you go. I, I, dude, I, I'm, I'm on board. I like this. It's, it's very cool. And uh, that's probably where the highlight video also ends. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, and if you're very excited for this new update like I am as well, press the thumbs up button, okay? Really helps out. And then do subscribe for more not to miss out on future videos as well. I'm gonna definitely explore Ordeal Call number one as well. No story spoilers, obviously, but uh, a lot of fun streams and highlights ahead. So um, there you go. And otherwise, I hope to see you in the next video. Better be sure.